This video is going to cover drought resistant plants. Um, I'm basing everything on my knowledge from Northern California, well California in general. We have very low humidity here and as a result under 20% most of the year. And then we go six to eight months with no rain. Uh, between April and October typically. So native species to California and other areas around the world like that, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, um, are a lot of these plants that you're seeing here. And one of the key things to think about when you're deciding to use these is that they normally have adapted to situations where they are lacking water for many months out of the year. And then Either they have a rainy season or they just have infrequent watering. The biggest mistake homeowners make is they treat them like any other garden plant and they give them regular water um, all year long. And they, some plants tolerate that fine, by the way, um, but others don't. And you, you just want to be aware of that if you're if you're watering something on a regular basis and it's starting to look like it's having a problem, probably your first clue is this isn't what it was used to or how it, what it adapted to and it's reacting to that. Also I found that it makes them shorter lived many times, um, especially shrubs and perennials. If you give them regular garden water because you put them in with other plants like that, then they may do fine, but I also find that they it tends to shorten the life. Cystus right here is one of the key, uh, I'm sorry, one of the great examples of that. I don't use the plant very much because most people overwater it and it ends up only living three to five years and then we start losing lots of them. So something to be aware of when you're deciding what to use and how to use it is also the irrigation. Um, if the first year or two, oh this is the other key thing, shrubs especially and trees are not what I'd call drought resistant the first year or two and it's because they haven't put down a root system deep enough that it can seek out uh, deeper water and so if the top six inches dry out and there's absolutely nothing there, then that plant really doesn't have much of a buffer that would make it drought resistant per se. So that's something to consider too, is don't start holding back the water when your, when your plant is what I call the puppy stage. It's still growing and it's trying to, you know, get a get used to whatever it's going to have, but it's also got to get roots down so that it has access to what's going to make it drought tolerant in the end. So those are just some of the things to consider. We've got a lot of plants here. This is the first video of two and um, hopefully these will help if I know these are going fast, but I wanted to get as many in as I could in a reasonable amount of time. So if you see plants that you like, just hit pause and write those down. Enjoy.